And that is why we are seeking his views on the same. Karanja, good afternoon. Great to see you. Over to you. Good afternoon, Grace. Great to see you too. Yes, uh, this is a debate that actually has gone across uh, even political alienations. There is no uh, ke, ke leweke, there is no tanga tanga in this particular debate. It is a debate that has proven to be very difficult in the Senate and that is why we want to speak to Governor Nderito Moravi of Laikipia to get to understand. As a governor on, in one of the counties that are set to gain, according to what is largely touted, what does he think, what should be the solution of this particular stalemate? Governor, thank you so much for speaking to us on KTN News. Now, Let's start with this debate that is in the Senate. Tomorrow we expect perhaps maybe for the sixth time the Senate might fail to agree. Last week was the uh, fifth time. And the uh, bone of contention is actually how to divide, to allocate revenue for the counties. The second uh, revenue allocation, the second revenue allocation that we currently have, many senators saying that we need to, to be there because they don't want counties to lose. But senators from the counties that are populous are stating that no, we need to go to the new proposed one, but the Commission on Revenue uh, Allocation. What do you think as a governor? Uh, well, the constitutional architecture is such that we have to continuously improve the formula so that it is responding uh, to the needs of the time and to the changing parameters of our economy. Therefore, um, you know, by law, we have to update the formula. And we do so every five years. This formula that is under debate now has been more than three years in the making. A lot of analysis, consultations. Indeed, it was presented to the Senate uh, more than a year ago. Um, also, a fact of policy. Any policy you make on earth, it will have some gains and it will have some losses. Because policy means you are changing something that exists. The only, the, usually the question is, are the gains more than the losses? Uh, so, personally, I think that perhaps the debate has become um, captured by the politics of the day. Uh, otherwise, it's a very straightforward thing. A great deal of analysis went into it. You have several options. You can do nothing. Okay, if you do nothing, you'll be breaking the law. The law demands that you revise the formula every five years. You can also, you know, you could say uh, we, are we, are, we are staying with the formula as it is um, and you use the old data, okay? Uh, that is the status quo. But the law demands that you, make, you move forward. So you can have, uh, the second option would be to use the old formula and apply the new data, the 2019 uh, census, uh, as well as, uh, uh, exactly. Uh, if you do so, you know, some counties will be worse off than where they are now. Um, if you, you can also then uh, move to the real option, which is to, ha to use the new formula and apply the new data. Some counties will be worse off than where they are now. But there is a way to compensate them. In that scenario, where about 17 counties are worse off than where they are now, the total amount by which they are all worse off is somewhere around 10, 11 billion, meaning we can more than we can compensate them and still do the correct thing. And that's why many of us as economists, as technocrats, we are a bit surprised that the solution is right there. If you take something like equalization fund, that is the purpose of equalization fund, is to correct, is to equalize. That's even the title of the whole thing. So it's a very straightforward matter that should not be magnified by the politics of the day. New formula, or current, I mean the, the proposed new formula with the current data, and try and, comp and compensate those counties that are worse off. Now, we can go into the debate of, of why is it that they are worse off. Well, because the old data was the old data, and I don't want to go into it, it the matter was settled in court. Yeah? 
but it was clear that there was something wrong with the population numbers from 2009. But the matter was settled and the country moved forward. So let's move forward. Um, I think the bigger point certainly for me as a governor is that the disbursement of monies to counties is being tied to this ongoing debate. And the two are not actually immediately tied. Ask yourself, the monies for June last year, those monies have not been disbursed. They have nothing to do with this formula. <laughs> they don't. Also, it is possible to use vote on account to disburse monies uh, for July. Again, because that's what happens. You use vote on account when the money bills are delayed. Uh, therefore, I feel that uh, the two issues should be separated. Disbursements, two counties should proceed. And we should seek resolution to the current debate at the Senate in a, in, a, in a way that is meaningful to everybody. So, Governor, from where you sit, you feel like this current impasse could be tied to the fact that money to counties has not been, dispa been disbursed in time, uh, on time. But let me take you back to why senators are actually not agreeing with each other. I mean, we, has, we are seeing senators from uh, areas that are popular stating that the per capita uh, fund for every citizen, especially say here in, in, in central Kenya, a county like, like Kiambu, is about 4,000 shillings per capita, while counties in the north are about 24,000. But you can give it to them, uh, just like Senator uh, Alake argued that 24,000 per capita also includes the cost of delivering service to the people. Because say someone in Laikipia who uh, is getting lesser money gets services very fast. They're near their services, but people in the north they are not near where our services are. Well, again, I take you back to the equalization fund. That is the purpose of the equalization fund, is to take, to take into account the disparities of geography, the disparities of uh, the history, the way development has happened in the country. That is why you have the equalization fund. So use it. Do, do what is just for the most people. Yeah, But since you know that a certain number, a smaller portion of people will be worse off, use the equalization fund to bring them up. And that's why it is equalization fund and it is specific and it is special. So that we already have the legal mechanism, we already know the intellectual uh, uh, reasoning for special funds like the equalization fund. And because it is there, it begs the big question, why are we not using the legal mechanism that exists. Now, should the new or the new proposed uh, revenue allocation formula be passed by the Senate tomorrow? A county like Laikipia stands to gain about, uh, in excess of 500 million, right? Yet there are counties that will be losing, and yet we know that the allocation from national government to counties have remained at 316.5 billion for the, the past two financial years. Perhaps, do you th don't you think that that will be an injustice also to the other uh, parts? I mean, we should have first looked at increasing the allocation from national government to the devolved units before actually introducing this new formula. Well, you see, and this is, these are, these are the, the big questions, isn't it? Eh? That um, we need to be able to grow monies going to, uh, to devolved units. And I think that that is an accepted principle. If you look even in the context of ongoing uh, conversations about BBI and so on, uh, the correct thing to be doing is to, increasing resor to increase resources to counties. And, and having said that, we are where we are. Okay? Because of uh, uh, national raised revenue was not growing as fast and so on. So we are where we are. And the question really becomes, let us do the correct thing based on where we are. What is the pragmatic and rational thing to do? That is to do what is best or the most good for the most people, and then to use a specialist fund to compensate uh, the smaller group that is uh, worse off. And as I said, first of all, separate disbursements, current disbursements for June, July, August, separate those from this debate, because those are urgent. Those are about the management of COVID. If we don't get monies to counties, this issue you are raising of county preparedness 
is a, is a moot point. I mean, we preparedness is about having resources to pay doctors and nurses so that they can treat people. Preparedness is about uh, your ability uh, to buy medicines. It's about uh, your ability, if you need additional beds, to buy those additional beds. If you need, not if you need, because you need to ensure that your staff, those who are managing the COVID, uh, uh, COVID um, patients, are, are in a place where they themselves are safe and they are not taking uh, contamination to their families, which means you put them in a hotel, which means you have to pay. So cash flow, right now, most urgent, to counties. Well, Governor, there was some or there was some debate or some argument coming from different quarters. Actually, some governors, I remember the Nyeri governor at some point saying that if uh, this particular one might not go through this pro uh, new proposed uh, re uh, revenue allocation formula, then we should have a clause where the monies, the revenue collected by counties and taken to send our national government before then the disbursement, then th there should be a retention at some percentage that should be retained even before the money is taken to uh, the exchequer. Perhaps, do you think that that could be a, a, one of the options that you, should, you could explore moving forward. Well, if I understand correctly, we are talking about the same thing, which we call vote on account, meaning um, when the money bill is not ready, like say the division or, or the appropriation bill is not complete on time, you use vote on account so that services don't stop. And that's what we are suggesting. Treasury could already be disbursing July and even August as we wait for uh, the, the full law, uh, the proper law uh, to be completed. Because that circumstance is anticipated in law, it is vote on account. What, what I'm talking about, Governor, actually, is the revenues collected by counties. Now, this to be used as a measure or as a parameter of allocating funds. Say, like, Kipia County collects a certain amount from its citizens here, that's from taxation well, it, and all it that. It is already there. If you look at the, 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 um, the proposed formula, 2% uh, is about fiscal responsibility, meaning are you raising monies? Yeah. Uh, and another 2% is about how well you are using the money. So fiscal prudence. So in total, uh, I think 4, nearly 4.5% is based on what you are collecting and how well you use it. So that parameter is already inbuilt in the, in the, in the, in the proposed uh, formula. Thank you. I thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Nderito Moridi, Governor of Laikipia County, of course, giving his two cents about uh, the current uh, ongoing uh, stalemate at the Senate. That is uh, in regards to the revenue allocation formula, the third one from the Commission of Revenue Allocation. Remember, this is also what has delayed uh, the County Allocation of Revenue Act uh, 2020 that is in the Senate. And the, like he says, the Senate has several options. One is to, be, uh, to retain the current uh, formula, that is the second uh, generation revenue allocation formula that and the, sec the second one is to retain it while still have the data of uh, the current data updating to the 2019 census and also the 2015 2016 poverty levels the other option is to adopt, uh, adopt the new recommendations or the senate can as well just make new proposals all together it will be interesting to see what comes out of the senate tomorrow remember this has also threatened to sort of divide the political, uh, the different political groupings in the country currently in, in, as, as far as matters BBI is concerned, Grace. Thank you, Karanja, for that detailed um, interview there with, of course, Governor Andiritu Murethi. Thanks once again, Karanja. Let's move on. Wajia County Woman Representative Fatuma Gedi and Wajia Senator Dr. Abdullahi Ali have petitioned President Uru Kenyatta to allow the functions of